Today we are going to Arduino tutorial number 26. On tutorial number 26, we are going to discuss, we are going to learn about active browsers. On tutorial number 25, we learned about the LED, RGB LED. So if you can go to my previous tutorial, you see series of tutorials we have learned and other things we have done in Arduino. You can also go to my YouTube channel, Mr. Great Tech, and you will see a lot of a lot of things are in YouTube, my YouTube channel, so you can go to my YouTube channel, you will see a lot of things, a lot of Adino contents I've created, and uh, that is it. Uh, okay, so understanding how to use RGB LED, how to use your computer hard drive, and these are bonus tutorials, how to use computer ATS power supply, these are bonus tutorials, how to read strings from Arduino serial monitor, and how to read numbers from Arduino serial monitors, understanding how Arduino, how to use Arduino while loop command, tutorial number 22, understanding Arduino for loop command with serial monitor, and the rest of them. So there are a lot of contents that I've created, a lot of tutorials I've created in Mr. Great Tech. This is my YouTube channel, so you can go there and also you can go to my Facebook and I'll get to my Facebook, I can get all those things and Mr. Great and some tutorial and also in my Facebook account, Facebook I show you, you can go to my Facebook and you can see in Mr. Great Tech Review, my page, you can also see a lot of tutorial on Arduino, all of them, they are there in my, in my Facebook. Okay, so that is it and that is all for now and we are today in today's tutorial We are going to discuss about active browsers and the After the active browser, we are going to go to the passive browser. So I'm not gonna waste too much of time in active browser I'm going to go straight to the point and discuss so that we can discuss about these uh, components and uh, That is it. Okay, so this is browser This is browser if you Open your Arduino, the starter kit, there are two types of buzzer in your starter kit. This is the starter kit, there are two types of buzzer in this starter kit. So, and more especially, the starter kit is very important. If you don't have it, you also try to get this. So, but outside, in addition to the ones you have in your, in your starter kit, also I have this one with me here. This is a couple of chest in the market. This is an active buzzer. These are active buzzers are buzzers that when you supply DC voltage, they can buzz. And passive buzzers are buzzers that you don't need DC voltage. They need alternating voltage or pulse with modulating voltage for them to do what? For them to sound. So I can make this one to sound by just connecting it. This one says it's what? 3 to 24 volts. So I have 9 volts battery here so it can still go. While these ones are 5, 5 volts. These ones are 5 volts buzzers and uh, active and passive buzzers okay these ones are five volts you don't need to supply nine volts to it so i will use a denote to power these with these small ones okay so now let's see how this one sound and uh, okay so these are passive buzzers so they are one of the output devices you use in Arduino programming, Arduino hardware, and you have your output device in your Arduino when we are using uh, the LED, the RGB LED, the normal LED. We use those ones as an output device. Also, we use also the serial monitor to see what we are doing with those output devices, and we use also uh, potentiometer as an our input device. Time will come when we will interface sensors as our input device. But now we are using what potentiometer. Okay, in this tutorial, we are also going to use potentiometer to vary our input values and we'll see how it will also reflect in our buzzer. And also that is it. And they, in this in, in our previous tutorial, there was a time I used buzzer in place of L in combination with the LED. You also saw how the buzzer was behaving when I was making use of it in those tutorials. But today we are basically we are going to treat those buzzer as a top treat buzzer as a topic. And uh, I'm starting with the passive, the active buzzer. The active buzzer is an output device that makes a sound. Buzzer like the name is buzzer. So it makes a sound once voltage is applied to the plus and minus pins, it makes a sound. This is five volts buzzer. 
but apply five volts to it you start making a sound so let's apply five volts it's very simple then how to know it is active or passive in your in your kit you have two types of buzzer so let me pick it up with the camera okay okay so you have two types here the one that has a green uh, the one with uh, okay so the one with the one with green uh, the green uh, bottom back here is the one that is passive and the one with black all black here the one with all black all the back they are black is the active buzzer so this one that has green you can see the green board the green motherboard here is the one is the what the passive buzzer and you can also see plus and minus it's also written there the polarities are there in the active buzzer when you turn it up when you turn the active buzzer here let me put it in clear so that it can be about to when you turn the active buzzer you can see the plus where you have the plus is the positive leg so you follow the plus sign go down you have the what the positive leg and the other one is the negative leg so this buzzer is what we are going to discuss now which is the the active buzzer so i will link it up i will connect my positive i use my white i use my white uh, jumper to do my positive and i use my black jumper to do my negative so i'm going to power my Arduino with my computer then i'm just gonna supply five woods i'm just gonna pick ground i'm just gonna connect ground to ground and just look for five woods and here it is it start buzzing so this is it okay so we are going to write a code so that we can be able to control it with a code and uh, see what we can do with the ide regarding to active buzzer okay once again you can also see that i have my early uh, my potentiometer in this potentiometer this is how i wired my potentiometer because i'm not going to make use of the breadboard because what i'm doing today there's no interface of resistor no current emitting resistor so and this is not necessary for now so i'm gonna keep it one side so i'm going to make use of my buzzer my buzzer my buzzer sorry this i'm going to make use of my buzzer my potentiometer and my arduino okay these are the trade things i'm going to make use of in today's tutorial and i'm out of here okay so that is it so let's go to the ide and see what we are going to uh okay so now we have uh i'm not going to go into details but if you are following if you are following along with me in this our tutorial you must have come you must have come across most of these terms the int the okay so let's go now we are going to use pin number eight to connect my buzzer so i connect my buzzer to pin number h so the positive goes to eight and the negative goes to what to the ground to the ground pin so that is it that's that's all i need here so very simple okay that is it very simple I don't need more than this this is all you need to connect so that you see how this thing works okay so now let's go to the code and see how the code works okay so that is it and then so you have the boss pin is equals to eight the boss pin is eight the boss pin is equal to eight semicolon inverted uh, semicolon and the int my number because we are going to open a serial monitor so what we're actually what we're going to do now is that we are going to see what we're doing in the serial monitor that is using strings uh, if you go to our uh, using uh, how to use strings with serial monitor in our previous tutorial you see where i treated that how to you can use your serial monitor using strings 
and also integers with what the serial money does okay so go to the tutorial that tutorial is gonna help you for you to fly along with today's tutorial okay so that is it okay so now let's go and see this is int with my number my number is any number you are going to put in the serial monitor is your number so you are we are not going to declare it because it can be any number you choose to put in the serial what in the serial monitor okay then int delay time is how dt is the delay time which is 2000 milliseconds so now string the first message that will come out will pop up from your serial monitor asking you what do you want the serial monitor the computer to do for you please input your number okay so that is it so the, our message is going to be please input your number this is the message is going to be please input your number so go to device setup you have to put your set code here you have your serial monitor serial dot begin that is 100 which is your buzz rate then you have to write the pin mode which is buzz pin is what is output pin okay so now okay Okay, Sira does print a line message, which is message number one. We are going to print the message number one. So we are going to print it. So now as we are going to print this message, that is, please input your words, your numbers. Okay, so let's go. So print in line, then use what the while loop. Sira dot available equal equal what zero. The hanging program. This hangry program is what is going to hang your program. Like I said, when you are going to write strings in what? In your monitors, in your serial monitor, you ask, you wait, you read. So you ask print cilia dot print in line, you wait, you put a hanging program to wait. Cilia dot available equal equal zero. So this is your what? Your hanging program to wait. Then you are going to you ask, you wait, you read then my number equals to what serial dot pause int print what my number serial dot what pause int my number so so how you can know what you read your number is what to read what to read integer you what use the code serial dot what pause int to read what integer okay so now my number is equals to serial dot pause what int now you are going to give the command. The command is if you are using the if statement command. The command is if my number, which is the number you are going to put in the what in the serial monitor. What is it? If my number is what is greater than ten, digital write. So it's only going to write. It's going going to make the boss spin high when the number is what is greater than ten. So any number below ten, the buzzer will be looking at you. It's not gonna make sound. So digital write boss being high. Delay DT as it's going to make it high, it's going to delay a little bit to make it low. Okay, digital write boss being what low. So it's going to make it high, and after making it high for some time, it turn it low and continues from there. Okay, so that is it. That is very simple code. Okay, so let's upload and see. Okay. Okay, good. Let's open our serial monitor. Let's see what is going on. Okay, please input your number. Okay, let me just so that you also see what is going on here. Okay, so please input your number. So let me put 11. 11 okay okay it's a if my number this is where you have say so if my number is what is greater than what is 10 digital right boss being high dt is what delay time is what that is the delay it takes it will just come up and what goes off p to just go off so that is just so the delay time is what 2000 milliseconds so just come up for 2000 milliseconds and uh, and that is a digital write boss p what low it goes down so okay so that is it now let's go ahead and do more experiment on this and uh, where is my serial monitor 
okay let's mod let's do one more and see how this thing works okay so let's do 40 40 enter okay so that is it so that is the experiment with words with the active buzzer and shows you so now let's go and add up words and add the potentiometer so that we can see how we can also interface use potentiometer as a word as an input device so that we can also vary our input figures and at some certain point we want it at a warning point maybe at 1000 we want the buzzer to sound when we are exceeding one we are when we exceed 1000 we want the buzzer to sound or when we exceed 500 depending on how we program so let's go and do that one and see how it works so very simple so now you have your LED, you have your so you have your potentiometer just like i said the first leg in your potentiometer your first leg here your first leg sorry your first leg here this is my first leg this is my middle leg this is my last leg this first leg goes to the ground goes to the ground the middle one goes to the what to a3 which is what my output my input goes to the input of a3 and this one goes to uh, to five volts so that is how we are going to do it so okay so let's look for a ground this is a ground let's look for a ground let's okay let's look for five volts this is five volts this is five volts and let's look for a tree as my input pin This is a tree and we are done okay so very simple to connect so let's write the code for it very simple i'm going to make it weak so that this tutorial is not gonna spend i'm not gonna spend time here okay so very simple so in this place int our boss pin is eight and port val is not declared because it can be any any zero from what zero to any number from zero to what zero to twenty to ten twenty three. So then int port pin is what is a tray. We use a tray as our port pin and our int our delay time. We have two delays there. I will explain the two delay. DT is two hundred milliseconds and the, another long D is five hundred five thousand milliseconds and uh, some experiments okay so that is all you need okay in this place okay so so that is my variables i have also these these are my variables so okay so voice setup serial dot begin that is this one red you have the pin mode the boss pin is output device so pin mode boss pin was output Pin mode port pin is what input which is the potentiometer pin is input which is a train is input so void loop so that dot print in line print in line port var i'm gonna print port var it's red dot print in line so i'm going to print the port the potentiometer value so that you see what i'm doing what the potentiometer value is reading so and the dt is the delay time so that it's not going to read very fast it's not going to read very fast so it's going to be reading it at the interval of what and the interval of uh, dt is what 200 milliseconds so that is my first delay there so that is where you use that dt so you can you can choose not to put it and uh, you can still the program is still going to work without it so now let's go port value you see analog is equal to analog read port pin yeah this is where you have declared it the port val is equal to what analog what read an analog read so port val is what analog read is reading from what what is what is it reading it's reading from what for the port pin so that is it in parentheses port pin so if statement we are going to use this statement if port val is what if port val is what is what greater than what 1000 digital write port pin high delay dt which is what 
100 watts milliseconds is the right bus pin watt low okay very simple and on the low side i decided to use long delay then the program starts starts up again okay so that is it so at this on this condition it will comes up and uh, is going to okay very simple like just like i said if port valve is what is greater than what 1000 the scale of 1000 digital right boss pin high delay dt two milliseconds digital right boss pin low dt what long d which is what 5000 milliseconds so okay let's try this experiment and see how it goes i will upload it then i'll open my serial monitor okay good my code is okay okay so let me open my serial monitor okay so this is my potentiometer value so i'm not gonna increase it a little bit right now it's going to 400 500 you can see so once you exceed what 1000 is going to do what it's going to stop it will just beep You can see it. Okay, so now uh, let's remove the long D and see, and uh, just put the normal delay DT DT and see how it goes. And DT DT. Okay. Okay, let's open this RAM monitor. Okay, so now no delay. I've removed all my delay. Now I don't no sound again. It will just come up. It will just immediately it comes up. It goes low immediately. So you are not going to see anything. So if you want to see something, you are going to clean this one. Okay. We we'll just stay high. Okay, so that is it. Okay, so okay, so comes up, goes down. Okay, so this is where we are going to call it a day on this program of Active Buzzer. So, okay. So, I'm Mr. Great here in Mr. Great Tech Review. If this video, if this tutorial makes sense to you, you like and share, you subscribe to our channel so that we can, you can get a notification when we bring other meaningful contents so that you can be able to follow up in this tutorial so that is it so this is where we are going to call it today and today's tutorial is very simple it's straight and forward straightforward uh direct practicals on passive how to use your active border sorry 
actually use your active buzzer and now on next tutorial we are going to do the passive buzzer and also how to use your passive buzzer like i said in passive buzzer you have to modulate you have to apply an alternating signal for the passive buzzer to come on in this active buzzer it's going to just a direct current coming out from the Arduino makes turns it on but in also in the active buzzer in passive buzzer the tones depends on the frequency at which you vary the what the signals so also the you can you can also experiment on that then you see how that one works too okay that is all and uh, our most excellent Arduino kit if you have not gotten this try and make it available make yourself a, uh, try as much as you can to get it so that you can also follow up in this our tutorial without this you are not going anywhere in this tutorial so try as much as you can to get this so by the time we start doing complex circuits complex programs you will be able to flow your one and only mr great here mr great tech preview studio bringing you the most excellent adino tutorial on today's tutorial tutorial number 26 we are bringing to you active buzzer understanding how active buzzer works bye bye for now mm -hmm.